Hello, TTI family. Buckle up, because you're about to witness something truly spectacular, a motor project that will have you itching to dust off your own tool collection. Today, we're diving into the garage of the one and only James Bigger, an ingenious mechanic with a penchant for turning metal and sweat into roaring electric masterpieces. James isn't just building any electric motorcycle, he's crafting a torque-happy beast from scratch. Picture this, sparks flying, metal clanging, and a man on a mission with an angle grinder in one hand and a vision in his head. The very first step in his grand plan is cutting and welding metal tubes to form the bike's main structure. Safety first, folks. Let's not forget that an angle grinder isn't just a tool, it's a potential fireworks show if mishandled. Sparks fly like confetti at a New Year's party, and the heat could fry an egg, not recommended by the way. But James, he's got this under control. For the front suspension, our man James opts for a Suzuki GS-XR750. If motorcycles were superheroes, the GS-XSR750 would be Batman. Cool, reliable, and with enough gadgets to keep you safe from harm. This piece of engineering genius ensures the rider's safety, comfort, and control by absorbing shocks, maintaining traction, and distributing weight properly. It's like having a very muscular, very mechanical guardian angel for your ride. Now, if you're like me and your DIY projects usually end with duct tape and a sheepish grin, you might be wondering about the exact steps, materials, and dimensions for this project. Fear not, James has you covered. Check out his website in the description box below for a treasure trove of comprehensive plans for every single one of his projects. Think of it as a map to your own motorcycling Eldorado. James's approach shows us that you don't need a gazillion tools to achieve stellar results. Once the rear structure is welded, he marries the front and rear parts with a swing arm pivot bar. This bar isn't just a piece of metal, it's the linchpin that'll hold the rear shock absorber and the brushless hub motor. Imagine a matchmaker for motorcycle parts. It brings together components that were simply meant to be. And here's where the magic of modern technology comes in. 
James uses computer-assisted design CAD techniques to create a visual blueprint of the project. CAD is the unsung hero of the manufacturing industry, enabling designers to conjure up digital models of objects or systems. These can be simple 2D sketches or complex 3D models that would make any tech geek swoon. It's all about precision. Getting those exact dimensions and angles reduces errors and ensures the final product is as flawless as James's welding skills. To solidify his creation, James covers the polystyrene parts with four layers of fiberglass and glue. This step transforms the polystyrene from a soft, shapeless mass into a hardened, durable structure. It's a bit like turning cookie dough into a rock-hard sculpture, though admittedly less delicious. He applies primer, sands it to perfection, layers on acrylic, paint, and glue, and finishes it with a glossy varnish. This isn't just a bike anymore, it's a work of art. Finally, James uses this polished mold to shape a type of resin that boasts the mechanical properties to withstand high speeds and bumps. In the end, it's not just an electric superbike, it's a testament to what you can achieve with a dream, a workshop, and a whole lot of determination. In this whole process, the fiberglass has turned out to be his material of choice, and for good reason. Not only is it lighter than steel or aluminum, making it perfect for a nimble e-bike, but it's also repairable. Got a ding or a crack? No worries. Fiberglass can be patched, sanded, and refinished to look as good as new. After smoothing out the corners with some serious elbow grease, fiberglass glue, and more sanding, the body of the e-bike is finally complete. It looks like it could slice through the air with the grace of a swan and the ferocity of a hawk. With the structure solid and sleek, it's time to add the finishing touch, a generous coat of paint. James opts for a futuristic black and gray scheme, reminiscent of the Tesla Cybertruck. Now, it's not just a machine, it's a statement on wheels, Next up, we venture into the heart of this beast, the battery and wiring system. James has selected a 74-volt or 4.3 kilowatt-hour Grepow battery, a powerhouse that will propel this e-bike to a top speed of 150 kilometers per hour at 120 volt.
With the power source in place, James moves on to the finer details. A tail tidy is installed to hold the rear turn indicators and the license plate, ensuring everything is neatly tucked in. This electric marvel costs less than a conventional motorcycle and saves a fortune on fuel over time. Talk about getting more bang for your buck. As James hooks up the battery, he reflects on the broader automotive industry's shift towards electric vehicles. Environmental concerns, government regulations, technological advancements, and shifting consumer preferences are all driving this change. Sure, EVs need a robust infrastructure and the batteries don't come cheap, but they're catching up fast with their gas-guzzling counterparts in terms of speed and power. And let's be honest, who wouldn't want to save the planet while tearing up the asphalt? The seat comes next. Crafted from PVC foam board, James heats the plastic to soften it, shaping it into a comfortable seat pan. Using some leftover foam from an old ATV seat cushion, he outlines and fits it perfectly. It's like giving new life to old materials. Talk about sustainable craftsmanship. The overall look of this e-bike is nothing short of futuristic. Angular design, clean lines, sharp angles, and a minimalistic aesthetic make it look like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. The two front LEDs and the faux fuel tank add to the cyber chic vibe. Remember, safety gear is a must. A good Kevlar helmet, a thick jacket, sturdy boots, and strong motorbike gloves with knuckle protection. Now let's talk about money. How much would you pay for a motorcycle like this? Drop your guesses in the comments. We hope this video has inspired you to consider the electric route. Stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.